Hey, good day, friends. It's Lance Klessig, uh, end of July here, and uh, we've been thankfully catching some uh, decent rains here as of late, and so I've been asked by a number of people to provide an update on the interseeded corn, whether that's the 30s or the 60s. Um, so wanted to do that. Uh, we are out here at uh, Sheldon Lumens, uh, which is one of the stops on our, um, our cover crop tour. Uh, but also wanted just to mention that we are having a field day on August 10th. It's an evening field day from 4.30 to 8. Uh, this will be one of the stops. Uh, but then we're actually meeting at uh, Mike and Dave Unruh's, uh, which is just a little ways away from here. And we're going to have a bunch of equipment on hand, do a drone seeding demo. Um, also have a high boy that's going to go through some sanding corn and drop some seed down. And we'll have two... Uh, roller crimpers there and I and J and Mandeco as, as well as I think four or five other cover crop seeding rigs. So I encourage you to check that out. Um, if you want more information, you can sure reach out to me directly. Um, so yeah, that's coming up a uh, week and a half. So uh, really soon. So I did want to just provide a quick update. So, you know, we're walking in here, obviously we're, we are having some other, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call them weeds, right? I would call them Forbes, right? Because the truth is, is that foxtail, um, you know, the one of the primary objectives out here is to graze this after the corn gets combined. So, um, so a little bit of weeds, quote unquote, Forbes, in my opinion, are all grazable, right? So here you can see, we really definitely have a heavy, heavy um, ryegrass mat here, um, showing some of our, our brassicas popping in here. Um, yeah, and the clovers are much more hit and miss, but, um, also did notice that where we have, um, like this is basically right where the spinner went through, um, but kind of adjacent or whatever, where we didn't have as much overlap, uh, more dominated by some of the, you know, the clovers and brassicas that, you know, fling out further. So, um, yeah, I guess that's, that's the update here, I guess, uh, 16 inch corn end of July. So. Uh, looking good and uh, just wanted to show that so again feel free to to join us at our, our field day um, and um, you know whether you're in Wisconsin or Minnesota or even northern Iowa uh, it's a really good opportunity to come learn and network uh, see some things we are going to visit a field also that was roller crimped uh, that was rye, tall rye beans were planted uh, you know when the rye was just uh, at boot stage a little after and then we roller crimped so That'll be a good discussion. So uh, that's what I got for you today. So thanks for joining us. If you like our videos, uh, give us a thumbs up and we'll catch you later.